Hey guys, welcome to my backyard garden. This is Mary. Uh, this evening, well, anyway, I want to show you first how the weather looks like today, guys. It's nice. Look, is the sky is nice and blue. We have some. Yeah, it's nice and blue. We have a few clouds like that one over there, but it's actually nice. It's kind of a little windy today and cool. So it's a change. <laughs> It'll get hot again, but right now um, everybody's enjoying the uh, nice cool weather. Anyway, I'm here in the garden because I'd like to gather some um, mint, mint leaves. So I can make some uh, dry, dry to make some mint tea. Okay, so anyway, I have a lot of um, mint here in the garden. And the reason why I have a lot of mint here in the garden is because years ago, I bought like uh, a couple of plants from Home Depot, planted them in this area. And now, years later, <laughs> they're all over the place. Look here tons of them right there over here and some underneath the berries they're all over the place that's why they ask people to um to actually uh they advise people to plant them in the uh pot if you have mint leaves that way you can contain the uh, growth because they will um uh, invade your garden I mean cover your garden like this one here look no matter how I uproot if I uproot them if you don't take you can uproot them but if you don't take the roots out see they will bud they will still come out they will bud out see it's a bunch of them so I'd like to um yeah gather some tonight this one some of them are about to uh, flower see this but still good i'm just gonna i just need the uh, leaves so i'm just going to cut it like this and then dry it so just like this i'll show you look at this nice right see that wow look at this beautiful so after you after I cut them they'll actually give me more no no buds okay oh no I'm stepping on my plant oh sorry plant <laughs> okay here you go more I like to get more oh it's hard to work because um, it's hard to work with one hand <laughs> the other hand is holding the camera it's okay see nice there so I'm gonna um, uh, cut some more and show you when I'm done okay okay guys I have a few more left so let me Cut them. Yeah. See what I have gathered. But I wanna get more. I wanna get the uh, young ones. So look at this here. It's a lot here. Why are you guys in there? Okay, here. So just cut this. I let them just fall on the floor. Just pick them up. There. Okay. I think that's enough. So, here you go. Okay, these are fresh mint. Guys, see? So look what I gathered. Yeah, there. I have my cal calendar uh, full of um, 
fresh mint. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is uh, bring it to the house, wash them well, and then um, uh, I'll dry them. I want to put them in the, um, I'll use the baking sheets and then put them inside the oven without, without turning the oven on. You know, my oven has um, pilot, pilot on all the time, so it keeps it warm. So that's what I'm going to uh, use to dry this mint. Um, maybe, but maybe in the weekends too, if it's uh, sunny in the weekend, I can uh, bring them out and uh, dry them outside too that way. But in the meantime, I'm going to use my uh, oven to start the process. Okay, guys, I'll show you when um, I have everything ready. Okay, guys, so I have it um, prepped. I have them washed really good. See, this is how much I gathered. Okay, and then, and then I... Uh, I'm using uh, the cookie baking sheets, this one here. I'm just lining up with uh, food paper, okay, two of them. And then also I'm using uh, one pizza pan, okay, lined with paper. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to spread this out. Spread them um, in a thin layer. Okay. Yeah, this should be good. One. Now another one here. And then some here in the pizza pan. Just spread them out thinly so they dry faster. Okay, guys, let me put it in the oven. Okay, here we go. They're ready to go into the oven. Like I said, I'm not turning on the oven, okay? I'm just gonna put it there because it's nice and warm since the pilot is always on. So that's the one that's going to dry it. Okay, I had three trays over here. Really cool. So let me put it in the oven and then uh, We'll see when it, I'll let you, uh, I'll show it to you when it's dry. Okay. Okay, guys, let's check the tea that's drying in the oven. Look, guys. Oh, look at this. Yes. It's dry. Nice. Cool. Like I said, I didn't turn on the oven. It's just the um, pilot that dried it up because it's warm in here. Even if I don't turn, if, even if I don't turn the oven on, it's always warm. So let me get it out and uh, so we can see good. Okay, here how they look like when it's dry. See, so I picked them a day before the day before yesterday. Uh, in the evening and then uh, put them in the oven for a day when I went to work I checked them this morning and it's already dry and all it is or the thing that dried them is the, uh, just the uh, the pilot of my oven is on all the time because I use uh, natural gas and look 
So all I have to do now is put them in the, uh, uh, take the leaves and then put them in the jar. You can use, for me I'm using, um, I'm using a canister, uh, canning jar I should say, but you can use any jar that has a tight lid. So basically, I'm just going to take the leaves and then put them in the, uh, in the container. Or, here we go. I don't want the stem, I just want the leaves. I think I can just do this. Let me see. Let me try. Yes. See that? They crimp easily because they are dry. I mean bone dry. So there you go. You don't want this one. Nice. Let's see. Do one more one. Let's do this. And then this morning I'd like to make a tea. A cup of tea for me to drink. Since it's weekend, I have time to drink... Uh, in the house <laughs> oh this is really good it smells so good mint tea so we are making mint tea okay all right let me um uh, take all the leaves and put in the jar and then we'll make tea okay guys I'm on the last batch okay so I pulled all the leaves and then just uh, crumble it like this they crumble easily because they are very dry. See that? Nice. It smells so good, guys. It's very aromatic. So I do this and then I put it in the jar. Okay. I put the rest in the jar. Look guys, nice. See, so I uh, <laughs> I filled one jar. This is kind of a bigger jar, okay? A canist, ca canning jar. I uh, this is how much I gathered. See this? So I got the uh, pulled out the leaves from uh, this one here, and it took me this much to come up with uh, a jar, okay? So now. I'm going to make a tea, uh, mint tea, but first I want to tell you that I also do the same uh, method with uh, any kinds of herbs. I do it with rosemary, uh, sage, thyme. I just uh, put them in the uh, oven and uh, let them dry there with just the pilot on. It's always on, like I said, because I use uh, natural gas. Uh, and then uh, it's uh, it comes in handy because I like it because it comes in handy when uh, fresh herbs is not available then you always have you always have some dry herbs on hand to use you know when you are cooking okay so let me make some tea okay everything's ready let's make some tea so I'm using um, this teapot, <laughs> I got this years ago. But you can use, uh, if you don't have this, you can use, and then just use a cup and then just strain it. Right, so I'm just going to put off a little bit, let's see. Scoop some of this freshly dried tea, freshly dried mint tea. This one has, uh, I like this one because it has a uh, strainer inside. I want more. Oh, it's so good. I think that's good. Now, so cover this. Tight. Over there. And then, or I like to, I always use when I make tea, I like my water really boiling. I just boil this water. 
it's boiling hot so let's pour some water oh my 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 it's so good oh look at this the water is already turning green oh awesome nice see that so I poured the water all the way until it's over the uh, the uh, tea that I put in there. Oh, look at this. Really good. And then cover it. And let it steep for uh, two to three minutes. Okay, and they will st we will uh, strain it. Okay, so it's been steeping for almost two minutes. Look at the water, guys. It's green in color see that oh it looks good let me um uh, let me pour some mm, hang on i think i need another strainer hole because i see i see like a little some leaves a little specks of leaves that's out of the mesh that went through the mesh so i want to strain one more time I know, I mean, I need another strainer. Hold on. All right, let's strain it one more time. That one has a strainer there, but like I said, I see some, a few leaves that out, that came out through the uh, mesh. So I want to strain it one more time. Let's pour it. Oh, look at the color, guys. Nice and green. Oh, it's awesome. Nice. This is a big cup. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I want more. Nice. Look at that. Oh, I still have a little, uh, some of the tiny leaves that went in there, but it's okay. I guess this one is not that fine. You really need a very fine uh, strainer. To catch all the uh, tiny leaves, it's okay. Now, I want some. Put a little honey in there. You can put uh, sugar, honey, or creamer. For me, I just like the honey. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Look, this is my fresh mint tea. Not fresh mint tea. I mean fresh because I made it, <laughs> but it's so yummy. Smells really good. Taste. Mmm. Yum. Perfect. Okay, guys. I'm ready to drink my tea. What do you think of that? It's so yummy. Let me have some. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It is so good. Yummy guys. Okay, so there you have it. That's how easy it is to make um, mint tea on your own, okay? All right, guys. That's all I have for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.